We've journeyed quite a bit. It's been a while. But not too long. I'm looking forward to seeing what moves you and your Pokemon will pour your soul into. Now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Gom. It's true. I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been. But even I think it's a great achievement. <laughs> ah, even Nebby agrees. The Melee Melee Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest, yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves. Well, if it kicks my butt up, I'll have butter for you. Orcadabra. You should probably meet up with Kahuna Hala. I'd guess he's around Iki Town somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like right in front of us. Okay, let's save. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna heal our Pokemon or not. I'd hope. Congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdant Cavern. Good work. I suppose you are here to battle the Kahuna. You think you and your Tora Cat are ready for me, Gom? Definitely. I have been waiting for this. Well, you're not gonna heal my Pokemon beforehand? No. Oh. Well, it's just a little bit of a challenge then. Oh, snap. Ho! Oh. I have been expecting you! Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge! I am Hala, the Kahuna of Melee Melee Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Melee Melee Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Gom, you have been entrusted with a sparkling stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me and your partner Torcat and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. All right, Hala. I'm ready to rock and roll. You are challenged by Isla Kahuna Hala. He's got three Pokemon. It's a Mankey. That's the first thing you're tossing at me, man. I killed a Mankey on the way here. I can handle that easy peasy. I didn't look at the effectiveness of this, but it's Fire Fang, so yeah, it's gonna go down. Yeah, good job! Yeah! I had to quickly do that. Hey, Chew! Level 17! Makahita? Sure, let's swap out. I wanna try out my. my Kadabra. I actually don't know if it has any attacking abilities. I don't know if Kinesis is an attack ability. It might be more uh, trickery, if anything. Use it to distract the target by bending a spoon. Yep, oops. Kinesis. Ow. Enjoy the spoon! Also, disable. No more fake out from you, buddy. Okay, we're gonna swap my Pokemon over to a Pokemon with an actual attack. <laughs> also, I just realized Butterfree has flying and psychic attacks! Holy crap! And I bet someone was like, why would you capture the butterfly? There's no point to it. Of course there's a point to my Pokemon. Psybeam this sucker! Ow, ow, no, not arm thrust. How dare you? Ow, ow, gosh, please stop. Not too damage. Yeah, well, how do you feel about confusion? I didn't get confused. Ah, oh, well. I'm gonna hit him in the face with Gust. Oh, God, God! Oh, these potions, man. They always come out when I don't expect them. Here, Psybeam. Beam. <laughs> 
All right, fantastic. What else are you gonna toss at me? Craw brawler? I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna send out Pichu though. It's not very effective against psychic or uh, fighting type Pokemon, but I want to give it a taste of battle. Also, Crab Brawler sounds like a water type! Oh yeah, that's totally gonna be a water type. Enjoy Thundershock, my friend. Oh shit. What is that? Oh god, it's doing a Z-move! Oh no, Pichu! All out pummeling! Oh, you poor little baby! Oh, God! Holy shit! Dude, he just... <laughs> 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 he just annihilated this poor little baby! My little baby hits you! <laughs> wow! Oh, my God! I need to... I need to get revenge. You want to use your Z-Power, buddy? Don't worry, I've got revenge on the mind! Breakneck Blitz! He fucking annihilated- he broke a mountain killing my Pichu off! Holy crap! Yeah, how does that feel? Oh god, he's got more attacks. Ow. Yeah, his attack grows up. That's fine! Because I'm gonna hit you with a Fire Fang. I don't know if it's water type. It didn't say anything about uh, super effectiveness, so it actually might not matter. I'm just assuming it's water type because it's a crab, but it might just be fighting or something. Whew! Wow, well played! Yeah, you killed my peach you man. That was really brutal. I just wanted to have an experience of battle and you ruined it in one turn. <laughs> the results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer and what fine Pokemon too. Tapu Coco! <laughs> oh, and our mighty Tapu Coco agrees. <laughs> Perhaps Taku Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Accept this Z-Crystal. It allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. Is it going to be fighting related? Because they don't really have a lot of those. It's fighting related. Well, if I ever want to pull out my Mankey or the Machop I'm going to trade a Spearow for. I've always got that. But we beat the grand child, or tr child. We beat the grand trial, and we'll probably beat the grand child a little bit more often. Fightinium Z. God, these are gonna be ridiculous. Unobtainium Z. Observe, Gom. If you wish to use the fighting type Z power, move your arms like this. Then bend your hips like this and pose. Cool, I can do that. Now then, Gom, with this victory, you have cleared all of the trials of Melee Melee Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Melee Melee stamp is a proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue on your island challenge, Consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. All right, Kahuna, I'll make you proud. Oh, it's Tauros. Moo. Whoa there, Tauros. Oh, I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whatever you'd like? No reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge, too. Say what? I'll take care of all the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon, Gom. Cool, alright. You obtained a rape ride pager. Why don't you hop on there? Ah, oh, that's intimidating, but alright, let's get on the Tauros. Oh, 
Oh my god, what is this get up? What what where did I get these clothings from? I transformed into them. I look ridiculous. The world looks a bit different from a top of my tour, say. Yeah. Especially I look different. I don't oh god. <laughs> Seagum, here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain explain some of the gear I gave you. Your ride pager is a tool that lets you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only press the Y button to turn on your ride pager, and use the B button to dash. And your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. I look really dumb. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. Unless I'm inside buildings? Congratulations, Gulm. I hope you find your ride pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. Aunt Z Power is lovely. Let's have a Pokemon battle when we uh, next meet. Or next we meet. Very well then. Off on your ch island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. I feel so happy about things. The music's nice. Everyone's congratulating me. All right, calm. With a little help from Tauros, you can smash through the ro big rocks on Route 1. Oh. All right, I've got a little something for you, too. You obtained TM-54, False Swipe. Oh. All right. False Swap is a move that will leave your opponent with one HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon. Yeah, tell Rotom all about it. But first, you gotta let your mom know what you're up to. When you're done with that, head on down to the marina in Holy City. Oh, yeah. Well, I do like the idea of fake out. It allows me to catch Pokemon a little bit easier. All right, time to get the boat ready. Lily, you gonna help me clean it? <laughs> we don't even get to see if she agrees or not. But she will talk with us. Um, I actually wanted to ask a favor of you first, Gum, if that's all right. Sure. You see, Nebby is. Its real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before. Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, Gom, then maybe. But I probably shouldn't ask any near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own my own wish and it has nothing to do with you. Of course I'll help. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really don't know what I didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will be heading to the next island as well. <laughs> yeah! Friendship! Alright, you done telling your mom that you're off on an adventure? Then it's off to the marina next. Oh, I haven't talked to her yet. Okay, so why? Uh, to get on my Tauros. Yeehaw! Holy crap! Oh my god! This takes way too fast! I wasn't expecting this! This is incredible! Okay, I don't care about the ridiculous get up. And the super tight pants, because I'm awesome. I got, I gotta go smash rocks, because that's a thing I can do now. Get out of the way! Oh crap! I still have to fight Pokemon on this thing. I might have insulted people who like ride bikes and wear get-ups like this all all the time. <laughs> I even show up in battle with the clothes. That's 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 kind of amusing. Scratch. All right. Howdy, howdy. Waha, you're a strong trainer, all right. Go on, you take on 10 Carrot Hill, friend. Even stronger Pokemon await you within. So how big is this place? I guess we'll find out. Whoa! What the heck is this thing? I don't know, but I hope it's level 15 or something. 13. Meh. It looks like it can s survive a scratch. Oh my. Ah! Yeah, okay, what about, uh... 
lick. That's a ghost type move. Uh, but it got paralyzed. That's a plus. Okay, it's a rock type, but Fire Fang really is one of my strongest moves, so we'll try it anyways. Jesus. This thing is strong, but only because of type differences. If I was using my... My Doof Doof, I think things would be fine. Water gun it down. Kind of fine. All right. I think it's time for me to toss a Pokeball at it. What? Ah! Smackdown, no! Ow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Anger Kitty. This thing is kicking her butt, Anger Kitty. I think we should hit it again. Ah, take that. We're gonna keep on hitting it. Bring it down to the red zone! And then toss a Pokeball. What? Oh, immediately! Jesus! This thing does not want to be captured. I'm gonna toss another Great Ball because there's no way I'm letting this level 13 punk take an Ultra Ball away from me. What the f It's so close to death! Fine, I lick it again. Great, now you're dead. Now you killed it. I didn't want you to critical hit it. We wasted our effort on all those Pokeballs and just got fucking son of a... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of you, buddy. Don't worry. I didn't expect our ass to get handled like that. Here. Okay. We need to swap my Pokemon out for this cave. Obviously, we don't know if every single Pokemon we run into are gonna be rock types, but jeez. Uh, better safe than sorry. Come on, Doof Doof. I'm gonna get off my Pokemon, too. So I can walk in a normal pit. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, I gotta do it outside? You're kidding me. I didn't know I was gonna have to break rocks. The rocks come back! How? <laughs> Stay on the Tauros! That's the lesson! Oh my god, it's a diglet. That was a really dramatic reveal for this thing. Water gun! What the? How do you have metal claw? You have no arms! Okay, Doof Doof might be a little too powerful for this area. <laughs> Instant killing them, Jesus. What's a Pokemon? That might be decent. Grabums might be good. Butterfree could also be a decent choice. Uh, we'll use Grabums. But Butterfree could be good because it could stun them and then just rain hell on them with everything else. Okay, can't come in from the right side. Or this thing is just too big, I don't know. Oh my god, it's a Zubat. I'm not catching you, Zubat! This is how strongly I feel about that.
I'm not doing it. It's not happening. I just want that rock Pokemon that kicked my butt. And maybe the Diglett, just for prosperity. I think that might be the wrong word. Whoa. There's a lot of items up there. Well, two. What in the hell is this? Okay, well, it's obviously a rock type. Let's hit it with a bite. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Ow. What about Pursuit? How much power does this have? 40? Uh... Yeah, we'll keep doing a bite then. I just want a lot of damage to come down their way. Ugh. After that last Pokemon broke out of three Great Balls at red health and paralyzed. Oh my lord. I was ready for another thing like that. So what the heck is this? Rogan Rolla! Born deep within the ground, it compares itself with similar species such as Geodude and Carbink to settle which has the hardest body. Well, we recently ran into a Carbink, and, uh, I think the Carbink wins out. Farthest Hollow. Oh, what's up here? I'm interested to know, like, what kind of crazy things are actually in this area? Oh, it's a rock rough, right? I forgot about that. I gotta catch it. Ah, I made a flinch, good. Okay, we'll do a quick attack, because it's not very efficient. Effective, you know, we'll just toss a Pokeball at it. I like trying to get things as low as possible, but I don't like risking killing things. Alright, good enough. It has an evolution too! It doesn't always stay as a cute little adorable dog Pokemon. You're moving along in a nice clip, partner! Keep up the pace and find all Alola's Pokemon! It's considered to be a good Pokemon for beginners because of its friendliness, but its disposition grows rougher as it grows up. Yeah! It probably turns into something like Super Fierce. Aha! Hey, we got a replacement Great Ball. Good. Okay, now that I already have you, it's fair game. You're getting Z-powered. It's not very effective, but it's still a huge boost of damage. Don't know how much. But it should be at least effective. Woo! <laughs> Look at his angry eyes. Dang, that really just... I could catch it if I wanted to. But we're finishing it off. Quick attack. Avoid it? Oh, gosh. Because my accuracy's getting taken the hell out. No! 
Not help! Oh, thank God. I didn't want to find another rock rough. Or whatever else it was calling in the area. I got things to do. Hey, Grabums! I haven't really been showing you much love, but you are like the second strongest in our party, really. So... Let's get this stand off ya. And then toss you a bean! Have a green one. Oh, it reaches out its hand to eat it! That's adorable. Yeah, Eradicate won't be nearly as cute as its original form. But at least it will have a mustache of some kind. Okay, I gotta check out the other side of this area. I'm not even here, like, really just to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm just curious, because there might be items on this other side of these things. Although it's hard to tell! If there was one distinct advantage of always having an over-the-top, uh, perspective, it was that you could sit there and always see what's ahead of you. For the most part. Yeah, I'm just... just go away. There you go, there's the first Pokemon we actually ran away from, because I just don't want to fight it. Uh, I am gonna swap Pokemon to my overkill Pokemon because I'm done for now. Uh, if they're gonna keep on showing up, I'm gonna hit them with Water Gun. All these rock type Pokemon. All right, let's check the right side. <gasps> there is an item Burn Heal. 